Hello, welcome back to Mages of Israel. Uh, unfortunately, there was a small issue in my recording software, so yeah, basically I just moved it. So basically, what happened is after we left the second group, came out, did a puzzle, came down, basically talked to some people, and starting towards to investigate some of the radiant woods. But they are sending a friend to for some reason, and on the way we saw that an old friend from the village, from the village that our character is from, part. The car got destroyed and was attacked by dolphins. Yeah. And also, uh, went to the village to get help. I don't know why the village didn't attack them. Attack my character. Stuff in, but yeah. Because yeah, oh, I was security. Because uh, I was waiting for a That didn't happen. So we're now back to attack on the person with the car. Also, I did a puzzle off the get a purple soul beam, which are basically our points for that is something. Yeah. Let us continue. Here are the people whose cart who was had cart broke, but she also lost some bags, some of her goods that were sold by goblins. And we are gonna go. We are going to go figure out what they are. We also have my unicorn, which has this magic lily bowl, which I grab from over here. Basically, allows us to expand the magic that we started at our base of operations. And that gives us, and that basically allows us to have mana lilies, which basically allows us to pick your base mana. It allows us to refill our mana in case we're one thing. Anyway, this is a awesome puzzle, basically, to light all of these things up at one so. Anyway, just run back over there. We have to 
beat up a goblin or two or three, five. But yeah, I almost got that. Back when I did. And where that goblin is rolling down. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do that tutorial again. Probably gonna give us like one, two shots, one shots. Okay. Huh? Then try to actually do the story. But here, I can do Nice. Damn, darn it. Bad. Bad start. This would be a lot easier if I had to breathe instead of seeing a group on me. are useful in upgrading stats. Yeah. The game is literally little little riddled with puzzles like that. You can't switch to that without any more of Anyway, let us continue to back to the show. Yep.
chest. A special chest. It's shiny and special. And we unlocked a room. A room that adds movement behavior to a spell. If you, I'm pretty sure you can guess what this is used for, but a demonstration will likely be seen. It basically allows you to make spells that will travel in a straight line. Now, if you remember, now if you remember my fireball, you're probably going to see where it's going. Anyway, time to see if I can still do that magic book twice. A rune. It is a behavior rune. If you're lucky, you will find more of these rare stones in the valley. They allow you to modify the behaviors of your spells. Eh, yeah, that needed to be a bit deeper. Anyway, let's get into the main part of the game. Select this, my fireball. And now if I slide this here, I can basically change the effect of the rel. The spell. So now, when I do a fireball, it would be like projectile. And this projectile can actually go up as well. So no. And I think that was a puzzle needed. Anyway, some other. But yeah, this is the whole entire main game of the game. And why it's amazing. Basically, there's a bunch of different behaviors and things that add for like each spell. Like some of them are more impressive than others. Like some of them, like. Your spell will now occur left. Your spell will now occur right. The spell will now go off in a random direction. And, but yeah, also, when you add in more room, basically the cost gets slightly slightly farther, and you can... And also, you can change the names on it, so... Also, you can do a lot of stupid stuff when you have the right room, so... Now, if I add a root to this, when I do ice, I get a line of ice. Will be useful for crossing bridges, and I have no reason not to have it. So I'm going to keep it up. But and now for arguably the best thing that you did, that I didn't realize, that I wish I realized a lot sooner, is that for a shield, if I put my move room in, now how do you think a movement room will be able? A, a move room will be able to cave the shield. It turns into a dash, which is amazing and a lot better than shield. I like movement items, so yeah. Anyway, time to the old mines, which we probably shouldn't be in because they're old, since they're old and probably not structurally sound. When it was safe to wander in the forest, greatly shattered used mine crystals in the natural graves. Doing with the rubble, the outermost mine passages are unstable. The small rocks and pebbles fall from the ceilings and walls. These, these, those stone walls squint barely here as there is whatever that word is, rocks. Hey, another bag of mine. Oh, this is kind of pointless. I probably I need to probably come back to when I get a de explosive room, which it needed to blow up those things. You don't get into like a boss. <laughs> okay. I just need to figure out how to. I just need to figure out, or if I'm correct me, I need to start that. That is basically a, a actually pretty decent tutorial for keeping how to use smooth rooms. Or keep your rooms down with. This is honestly a very probably the coolest part about this game as well. Now, I'm gonna have to run back to the game. And snack. You as well. Alright, and snack. Just need one more bag. I will be good. Oh, he's a little goblin as well. Er, why are you why are you here with me? You're not attacking me? I'm too old for that, not that. But if you don't tell me why you're trespassing my forest, I might make a stick. I suppose the Queen sees wood. Do you know where this path leads? Oh, come to the right place. The wood wretch has turned and he What? Twigs, a giant wood wretch. That grim fellow keeps throwing back every sort of years or so, but he came back fast for time. The source of corrupt, the corrupt, I don't know. Oh, I'm a major, I can't read it though. 
What? Wait, I can't read him. I locked him up so he can't cause him. I locked him up so he can't cause him a problem. I'm so not going to lose. Tell you what, the Woodbridge corrupt from the room I've raised in the last year. They'd all be brazen and all. That is our next quest. Anyway, that's all. Anyway, this is all the time I have. This is you from Australia. I hope you enjoyed your voice with a strange old drama. You did a good old man voice. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and all that. And that's all the time I have. Bye!